What's up, good people? I'm actually standing up, so this is a good, a good dilly. All right, so this weekend was super chill. It was a three-day weekend. Of course, we know it was the 4th of July, so of course all the festivities were going on in and around my city and your city, I'm pretty sure. But, um, first, before I started celebrating 4th of July, I had to say goodbye to an old friend. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, dear Lord. How I can effectively be no help. Their couch that was turned into cloth <laughs> where my dog ripped it up and I duct taped it. Single girl's gotta do what she's gotta do. Okay, so this is what we got. This is quite an empty space. This is the like the leather part where all the le leather had like crumbled up. It's pretty fucking gross. Thank you for inspecting. But this is it. So I'm gonna sweep this and vacuum and try to get this together and make it look somewhat decent. <laughs> this is gross, guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah! The new setup joint. I just have to get everything um, like plugged up, hooked up. But yeah, so this is what it's looking like. Well, besides my kitchen table in the living room, <laughs> this is what it's looking like. It's looking really, really good. Like I hated that other couch. Just, this is the ottoman from it though, so. Um, but it's looking good. This guy. I don't know if he adapts to change very well. Do you puppy? He's like, chick please. But yeah, this is exciting. So this is what it looks like when you um, come in. Do, do, do. Do, do. Dear old couch. I love that couch. That couch had some miles on it, as you can see. Um, it was my, it was my homie. It was my ace. It was like my, like, well, I bought furniture and stuff before, but it was like actually my like second or third, no, my second couch purchase. And I had it. I mean, it was a rider. I bought it, you know, like as a set. And I had it with a boyfriend that when we lived together, so him and I broke up, and it was just finally time to like get rid of that couch so bittersweet we had great memories but it was definitely time to say goodbye not much happened after that the day was pretty uh chill and relaxed me and my neighbor actually barbecued so you know, we, we are girls who grill, okay? We have a good time. Now, the problem with that is that we decided to do shots while we were grilling. Now look, it had to be every bit of 85 degrees up in this piece. Da, 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 da. Thanks, man. No problem. I figured that you had one when the name Yeah, I bought like a new one. It was like a pack for like $5. It's hot. Huh. It's hot. Oh, hot. Yeah, hot. <laughs> Whoa. Were you videotaping it? Yeah. I am so scared of fire. <laughs> I am so.
such a wimp when it comes to spires. It's the only reason I don't grill more. Because I don't know how to do the fire. This is a fiasco. But at least we're drinking shots of whiskey, okay? It's 90 degrees out here and we're drinking. <laughs> smart but the food was really really good our puppies got a chance to play so you know it was a win-win situation after that I ended up just chilling out for the night I had some homework to do so I did that the next day um, I watched Walking Dead the best show on TV Glenn was a beast Like, I've never seen these episodes. Ah! Ah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Walking Dead is like the best show on TV, hands down all right so from that point after i was torn away from the tv um me and a friend went downtown atlanta which was absolutely crazy but we went to uh, go see fireworks on the rooftop never been to a burlesque show the only person that I know that does burlesque is uh, Marilyn Manson's ex-wife Dita Von Teese. she is absolutely gorgeous and amazing so my neighbor um, invited me uh, my neighbors invited me and we went to check out a burlesque show in downtown Atlanta
throwback. I mean, I had nothing to gauge it off of, so it could have been like completely horrible and I wouldn't have known the difference, but I don't know. I liked it. So if you're ever in Atlanta, make sure you check out the Cheeky Bells or the Cheeky Bells. Yeah, the Cheeky Bells in Atlanta. They're a good like, This week, like I said, was pretty, pretty chill. Um, but next week, this week, next week, this week. This week is when a turn up happens because me and my friends is going to New Orleans, baby. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're actually going to uh, New Orleans. So this is the week. I think I mentioned it in a couple of videos, but this is the week. This kicks off the week where I do a lot of traveling. It's New Orleans this week, Savannah next week, and then in two weeks after that, is Las Vegas so it's going to be cray cray and I'm still trying to fit a couple more trips in before the summer is out so of course I am uh, but other than that I'll see you guys later